Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program. Today I want to make a very serious video and it's a video I've had in my head for a long time. What are the key watches to success as a collector and happiness? Horological happiness, fuckers. What do you need to buy? What pieces do I recommend? And you know me, fuckers. I recommend some fucking good things. I've done uh, all the dumb things. I bought them, sold them, fucked them. I've done everything to them, fuckers. So, look. My advice is, what key pieces do I see and enjoy? And i got to tell you, I get people writing to me all the fucking time. And there are just some collections that pop. And some collections that just fucking suck. They just fucking suck. And uh, what is the secret formula to a collection that pops? I mean, I don't know. It's a lot of thought, a lot of planning. It's mystical, fuckers. It's mystical. Now, the question is, what pops? What, what do I think is a key? If I was starting from, from scratch, what, what key pieces would I add? And the answer is simple. Number one. You'd have to add... You can do this in any order, but this is kind of the order, I think. Number one, Rolex Submariner. And it could be a... Steel No Date, Steel Date, or a Two-Tone. Number two, Omega Speedmaster, man on the moon, man on the moon. Enough said. Great watch. Classic. Number three, some sort of Rolex GMT function watch. Either the Explorer 2, which I think is greater bang per buck, or, or a GMT. And I would be going pre-ceramic in the case of the Submariner and pre-42mm in the case of the pre-42mm. Pre-42mm in the case of the Explorer. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best. Because I gotta tell you, I got tell you I gotta tell you fuckers I'd be buying pre-ceramic pre 42 mil okay so we've got a dive watch we've got a chronograph we've got a GMT function watch what else do we need fuckers and the answer is simple we need some sort of dress watch now you could add a date just you could add a day date or you could add a piece of horology. I'd go J.J. Le Coultre, J.J. Le Coult. J.J. Le Coult. Reverso. Any reverso is fucking cool. That's what I'd be adding. So, that, I reckon, is a pretty cool fucking collection. How many pieces do you need? You know, I, I really think myself, Four killer pieces, and that is a fucking amazing, great collection. So, 
That's my opinion. That is my opinion. You tell me what you mangy nasty fuckers think of that. See you later, fuckers. Nasty, foul-mouthed fuckers that you are.